Welcome to lesson nine of learning MATLAB. And today we're going to do what we've done with um, the linear regression program, where we did a whole bunch of different files. We did a thousand um, data files with all the calibration data in it. Um, we're going to do a similar type uh, program here in uh, MATLAB. But what I did was um, we're just going to do it for 10 files. So I'm just going to show you how to do it with 10 files. So I made the following folder linreg4. You see here, linreg4, and in it I copied the old linreg function from um, the linreg2 uh, um, uh, from the linreg2 folder, and then I took the first 10 calibration data point uh, data files from the old calibration data in my C directory. I put them over here, and I changed their name to data1.txt through data10.txt. So that's the prep for this um, lesson. And now I want to edit, um, um, I want to start a new um, script here in this uh, linreg4 um, directory. So um, I, I'm going to, I want to build up a program um, to do all 10 files. So the first thing I want to do is I want to try it with just one file, right? How do we manufacture a file name in um, uh, MATLAB? Well, there are two ways that you can do that. And I'm going to start with just, I'm going to say I equals one. So eventually this is going to turn into a loop. The for loop to I goes from one to 10. But for now, let's just start with I equals one. The first way you can do that is you can use um, sprint F. So sprint F exists in um, uh, um, in MATLAB two, and the way it works here is <clears throat> this is the, you just say that you give the, the format statement a percent D. You're going to put I in that percent where that percent D character is, and that, all that's going to go into this character string. Let's see what that looks like, right? So let's test it as we go on. So I want to test the code. As we go on, so I'm going to control S, save it, move up here, run it, take data one at txt. So then I want to go um, uh, C equals load string. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to save that. And see if that works. Does by putting that um, data one dot txt into string, can I use the load command this way? Yep, C comes out. It's a ten by two. Looks great. So those two steps work fine. Cool. So so now I think I'm ready to uh, turn this into a loop. I'm going to put semicolons after this so I don't uh, echo them to the screen every time it runs. all it would take. Notice in class, I gave you this uh, new format where you could say, instead of saying load string and the thing would be data1.txt, I didn't have to do data1.txt here if you put a, just a dummy variable C there and you could just use C inside the loop. So you don't have to do anything fancier in this loop. You could just use C every time. MATLAB automatically overwrites the old C and gets the new C in it. You don't have to worry about clearing it or closing it. MATLAB does all that automatically. I know that MB, so now we got this other issue where um, I want to do MB and R as arrays, right, and store the ith value of it. So just a, oops, just a reminder. Um, 
that in MATLAB, array elements are in parentheses, where in C, they're in uh, square brackets. So parentheses here, parentheses there, square back brackets in C. And I know that M is going to come out as a, as a one long row and B is going to come out one long row. So I want to look at them all at the same time. So I'm going to go M, oops. Um, the output's going to be M prime, B prime, and R2 prime. <coughs> cool, huh? That's it. That was pretty easy, right? Let's see if it works. Those are the slopes of the first 10 values. Those are the intercepts. Those are the R squareds. Looks good. It worked. That's pretty, that's uh, that's a nice, easy way to do it. There's, so, so that's one thing. The second thing I want to show you is that there's another way to do this. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to do it on the command line here. So I'm going to say string, clear, I'm going to clear all. Clear all. And I'm going to say um, string equals, and then I'm going to make an array here. So I'm going to say data .txt. What happens when you put, have strings and you have spaces between them? it's going to concatenate them all together to make one big string, if you notice this. So it, the only thing missing here is the one. And so we, what we need to do is we need to say i equals one, and then string, then go up, string equals that, except now I need to put something in here that converts the i to a string, the string, the, the number number inside i one to a string so that's an, that's a matlab command called int to string the one dot txt that works too so in linreg4 you could do it this way Same answer. Cool. So that's um, so you can do it either this way or that way, whichever you feel more comfortable with. That's it. That's how you do multiple files. Um, that's how you produce um, uh, data file inputs in MATLAB, this, similar to the way that we did it in C.